Gradient bar chart is quite commonly used these days in order to add a cool design factor to a bar chart. Adding gradient color is not a best practice in data visualization as it can create confusion, but this tutorial is for those who really want to make a bar chart a bit more interesting. So without any further delays, let's see how we can create a gradient bar chart in Tableau. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create a gradient bar chart in Tableau. So in this tutorial, we'll be using Sample Superstore Dataset and we will not be using data densification technique. Yeah, you heard it right. So as you can see in this dashboard, we are showing the sales by subcategories and the sales value we are showing in the form of gradient bar chart. So let's see how we can create this particular chart. So let's open a blank workbook. And in this workbook, I have already connected to sample superstore data set. So first of all, we will be bringing sales values to column shelf by simply dragging sales, sum of sales measure. And then we'll be bringing subcategories to row shelf. And you will see here, all the bars will be created and once it's created, you can see here, all of them are of the same color. And now what we need is basically measure value and measure names. So I just wanted to show you first how the bar chart is created. But in this particular scenario, I want to bring all the measure values to the column shelf. So I will remove some of sales and I will bring all the measure names to the detail shelf or in this case, let's first move it to color shelf. And once I do that, you will see different colors for each individual measures. I will then simply change the mark type to line chart. And I will press control key in Windows machine or command key in Mac's machine and move the measure name by dragging it to the path shelf. And once I do that, you will start seeing here, there are different shades in a particular line chart. So let's let's change the chart type and make it to entire view and let's increase the size of the bars so we can see the colors clearly. And in here, I will create a calculated or placeholder field for measures and I will simply say minimum value of 0, 0,0. And once I do that, you will see here the minimum value is created here on the left hand side and now i don't want to see all the measure values i would like to see only the sum of sales you can choose any measure you like but in this case i will select all other measures and i will simply delete them and you will see here based on these two values a gradient is created and now we can do a bit of formatting so i will choose here minimum value i want to keep it gray and the sales value, let's keep it yellow in this case. And I would like to change the background. So I will go here, do a bit of formatting and I will change the worksheet to let's say in black shade. And I would like to change the text to a bit whiter and I will increase the size to 10. And same way I will do a bit of formatting on the measure values, but before that, I would like to show the text labels. And once you do that, you will see here we have zeros in the beginning. That is because of the minimum zero value which we have created. And the maximum value is basically the sales value. So first of all, I will go to the text label mark and I want to see only the end of the line. In this case, I will just hide the start of the line and it will show me the labels at the end. So it will hide the zero labels because it's going from right to left in this case. So once this is done, we can do the bit of formatting for sales and I will change it to currency, custom currency, and I will remove the decimal points to zero decimal points and we will do the formatting. I don't want to see any grid lines. 
so I will see there are grid lines and columns so I will change it to none I don't want to see zero lines as well and I also don't want to see excess rulers and here I will hide the headers and I will hide the title of the subheader as well and you can see here it looks pretty nice now and you can increase the size a little bit and here you go it's as simple as that and you can change the colors as per your liking or if you want to show the measure value instead of sales you want to show the profits you can do it the same way so that's the quick tip for today i hope you guys enjoyed this session if you have any comments please feel free to reach out to me anytime and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you see you next time